everyone. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. This particular prophetic word says, God is warning you to remove that cloth on you now. Praise Master Jesus. There is a particular cloth on you God is asking you to remove right now. In Jesus' name. If you are coming across this channel for your first time, God bless you. I'm the man God is using. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking you to remove that cloth right now in the name of Jesus. Okay, this is actually how this particular prophetic word is going. At the place of prayer, this is what the Lord showed me. There is somebody God is warning you to remove the cloth. The cloth of which God is asking you is not all about the physical. Praise Master Jesus. There is this particular garment that is in you that you are putting the same garment and the end of what is coming your way is very, very dangerous. The Lord is asking you to remove it. The Lord is asking you to remove it in the name of Jesus. The garment that you are putting is like this suit that is on me right now. Praise Master Jesus. Imagine yourself, I'm wearing this suit like this, tight. Nobody knows what is inside. Everybody is seeing me with a, with a dark suit. Praise Master Jesus. Everybody will conclude that that is the only dress I have. So even if I have something dirty inside, I can cover it with this suit. Even if this shirt has been torn and seared, I can cover it with this suit. Praise Master Jesus. Hear me. That is actually what is going on. I saw somebody, you are covering, you are covering a garment that is on you. The garment is killing and destroying you. God is asking you to let it go. God is asking you to remove that garment. You might be watching me right now. You're saying, Pastor Bazi, you're talking directly to me. Hear me. There are people that you see them outside smiling. When they enter their home, they take injection before they sleep. There are people, they cannot wear short. They cannot wear short clothes. Why? Because they know what they are putting in them. Hear me. I'm not talking or judging people. I saw somebody under the sound of my voice. The garment that you have put on you right now is about to destroy you. The Lord is asking you to take it off. Hallelujah. Only by the grace of God, just make your decision that you are going to take off this particular garment. Make your decision that you are going to take off this spiritual garment. I pray for somebody, this garment will not lead you into destruction in the name of Jesus. There are people watching me right now, you know that the garment of stealing is in you. Praise Master Jesus. When you stand somewhere, you don't have the intention to steal, but when you see an opportunity, the spirit now will start pushing you. Go and take, go and take, go and take. That garment is on you. Then it's high time for you to let it go. You might be seeing me as a woman and you know that this is what is in you. Your main issue is garment of prostitution. How does it start? You are not satisfied with one man. You are not satisfied with two men. You want to date it, date it, date it, date it, date it, date it, all, all over. You want to distribute yourself as internet everywhere just because you want money. That garment, you need to let it go. Hear me, child of God. There is a way that's similar right before man. Praise Master Jesus. One day I went to, the, to carry something with my father. It was about 60 kilo. My father could not carry it up. So when I was carrying it, I just pick it like this. Pop! I put it on my shoulder. I was going. My father stood there. He looked at me. He said, oh my God, how I wish I could carry it like you. My father started telling me when I was young, I was carrying bigger things more than you. So I, one thing I learned from my father was that there are, there, there are time for everything. If you think that you can carry 60 kilo today, hear me. There will come a day that you will not carry 20 kilo. So it is better for you to receive, to, to, to reserve that strength that you are wasting today so that the strength will help you tomorrow at your gate of tomorrow. I pray for somebody. A word is a knock for the wise. Hallelujah. This is not only a prophetic word. It's like an advice to somebody as a brother, as a pastor, as a friend in the name of Jesus. Can we all examine our life in silence, calling to mind our sins and seeking his grace that we may come near to him in true repentance and faith? That you dare, God, Father, I let go the garment. The Bible says, come unto me, all you that level, I will give you rest. Even though your sin is as dark as charcoal, even no matter how dark the garment is, the Lord is giving you an assurance. I will worship, it will be as white as snow. I pray for somebody, you are not making the wrong decision in the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody, 
you are letting go the garment in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, heaven rejoice when you let go your future garment. When you throw it away, when you throw it away in the ocean of, of in, the, in, the, in the oceans that you never re remember. As you throw it there, there is joy in heaven. I pray that as heaven celebrates, you are celebrating in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.